Hi everyone, today I will be explaining the basic functions of a Brother XL2375 sewing machine. Let's get started. The first thing you need to know is that the sewing machine comes with a foot pedal. These are some of the items that you will find in the box of the sewing kit, which is right here. So you will have your bobbin case and they give you thread. You also have plastic bobbins needles sewing machine needles a darning plate and then this is my thread and on my bobbin let's look at the machine itself this is the reverse stitch button so when i want to go backwards with my stitching then i just press this down i hold this down as well as push the foot pedal at the same time the reverse stitch will work let's move up here there are 20 different stitch functions on this particular machine and you can this is the stitch length button so you can make it very very narrow or very very long so usually i do about a three that's my normal stitch length but it just depends on what you're stitching so i turn it to whatever i want to do it also has zero that's for when you're doing like buttonholes and stuff like that this is the stitch width, but to the stitch width dial, try to say that three times fast. And so you can make your stitch short or you can make it wide. It's up to you. Usually on a regular stitch, like a straight stitch, you keep it on zero. Next, you have your left, your middle, and your right. If you want the stitch to be in the middle, you keep it in the, um, at the M and you may want it on the left side or the right side. A lot of times you'll use the left and the right when you're doing buttonholes or some type of decorative stitching of some sort. So that's why you would use that. And then it's a pretty design right here. It's so, it's so beautiful. I love that. This is the tension. So usually you keep it between four and six as well as the bobbin case. So we take this off. And this is where you can hold some of these items. You can put those in there if you want to. If you pull down this little lever right here, this is where your bobbin is stored in the bobbin case. So here's the bobbin case right here. Place our bobbin and our bobbin case in there. Let me put my storage box case back on. Here is the sewing machine needle. So whenever you need to change it, you just turn this and it'll loosen it up. If you look here, let me turn it this way so you can see it. It has pictures of how you should thread the bobbin, which we will look at in another tutorial. And then it shows you exactly how to start threading the machine. That is the spool holder, and then this is where the bobbin is held, and you click it when it's time for you to thread the bobbin. This is the hand wheel, so you use it if you need to pull the needle, the um, sewing machine needle up and down manually. On this side here, there is the um, power switch, um, power switch right here, as well as that's where the cord goes, the electric cord. And then on the back here, this is where you can um, carry it with your hand. You have your model code here. That's how you, this black little part, it releases the presser foot in the front. And then this is the lever that puts the presser foot down. This is called the presser foot. Whenever you are sewing, it has to be down. So you press your lever here and you put it down. That's before you're sewing. That is it. I have explained the entire part of the Brother XL2375 sewing machine. Check us out for our other tutorials where we'll teach you how to thread the top as well as the bobbin thread of the machine. Well, thank you for watching. Let us know if you have any ideas for new topics or new tutorials and subscribe.